Hey, hey, thanks for watching. This is George over at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, everything in between. What we're looking at right now happens to be a brand new 2022 Chevrolet Silverado. This is a particular work truck, not a real high-end trim package at all, just a basic Silverado. And uh, we went in the front there, what you're looking at is a three inch amber white sound off M-Power. That's a real nice light. You can also get that light in straight amber if you'd like. Those are the two in stock options we have now, straight amber or amber white. The amber white, of course, will do a flood override. We're not using it on this truck, but if you like that feature. The location on the outer edges of the grill there, that was customer selected. He liked to get it out to the edge of the grill there. Didn't mind drilling one single hole. It was pretty self-explanatory. That light is a quick mount, meaning it has 3M adhesion tape on the back of it. So I definitely would suggest using our primer promoter when you order this package. So I'm going to put one of those in the shopping bundle here for you. This particular build's very simple. We just used our 22-5, 25 feet, to extend both of those M-Power lights into the cab of the vehicle where we're going to hook it up to our three-quarter inch switch. Our three-quarter switch grabs power directly out of the driver's side fuse box. Very easy to do. So we'll just need a fuse tap, a three-quarter inch switch, two three-inch M-Powers, 25 feet of wire, and some eighth-inch heat shrink tubing to complete the job. Here you can see how good those work off axis. This particular truck for Green Line does a lot of remote stopping around, doing different things at different job sites. So we wanted to make sure it was highly visible. Went with kind of an aggressive pattern in the front. That's an intercycle pattern. That's the pattern we're using and it is a color swap with an alternate color. So that uh, pattern right there, very nice, very effective. Alrighty, around the back, we kept it real simple by customer request. Just put amber hideaways in the cargo and the reverse. Now we went ahead and sped up that pattern because these are the only four rear facing lights. So that's one of the more aggressive patterns where it bounces back and forth quite fast. You can choose any pattern that you like. You can synchronize this any way that you like. And if you'd like to see some videos about how to install the hideaway into the cargo light, as well as how to install the hideaway into these tail lights, we're going to link to those at the end of the video. So you have all the information you're going to need to install the hideaways in both of these locations. This is our hideaway duo in low dome in both spots, but our echo haw would work just fine. And of course we have all six colors. So if you wanted to go with a purple or a green or blue or red or white, we have all of those available as well. We're going to include 50 feet of 18.5. That's going to allow you to extend your hideaway duo control module from behind this tail light here all the way forward. We're going to mount the other hideaway control module right up here on the roof, right behind the third brake light. And we're going to install, we're going to run the 18.5 forward, being very careful of the airbag. I'm going to link you to a video on how to run a wire from your third brake light forward as well. We have that video for you too. We'll run that wire forward to our switch. At our switch location behind the dashboard, that's where we're gonna adjust our patterns, where we're gonna do our synchronization, where we would hook up our flood mode switch if we need it, but we don't need one on this truck. It's just a one switch install. Of course, our hideaways, they have flood mode too. So if you did this package with white hideaway and you wanted all four of those to come on steady maybe for loading a trailer maybe if somebody was tailgating you you never know so you can set up a secondary switch for the flood mode that's absolutely up to the installer when they install it so as i said we mounted our module for our rear hideaways right here we run the wiring up the frame we pop it right through the floor rubber grommet of the emergency brake cable. We use our wire insertion tool to get through that grommet. I'll go ahead and post a link here. And we come through the factory grommet, which is very easy to see on the factory wiring loom. There is a nipple on the underside of the hood. 
where your wire goes into the factory wiring loom and it comes out right underneath the dash. You don't need to drill the holes on these. If you'd like to drill a hole, I have a video and some pictures also of where you can drill your own hole if you wanted to run more wiring than you could fit through the factory grommet. But the factory grommet in these trucks from GM, it gives you about three eighths to a half inch of space through the rubber grommet to run your auxiliary stuff. So. Overall, it's a pretty large area, and we've been utilizing it more and more instead of drilling the holes. I'll show you forward here where we did our switch. Now, here's the switch. I'll go ahead and turn the ISO back to bright for you. Turn this on, and you can see in here, try to get my focus going. Sorry about that. There we go. There's our switch. Now, we choose this location quite often because this is right where the factory auxiliary switches is go are going to mount so that's where your factory switches would be so it's a good spot it's convenient right on the left hand side and if you feel around after you remove this panel you can get behind there you'll see that there's a, a great big square cut out of the framework behind there it's quite nice to run your wires so um you know it worked out real well that way now in the side panel here you're going to find uh power right there we put our fuse tap there we've got metal to ground to right in there as well it is no big deal very easy procedure uh let me poke you underneath the hood and i'll show you what i was talking about about that factory uh that factory um pass through and what i'll do is i'll try to get underneath here and show you where it's coming through under here if i can even see it I'm not sure. See, it? it's up in there. Oh, there it is. So if you can see right there, you can see our split loomed wire. It's coming right out right there through the factory pass through. So and then we just uh, we took it up here and uh, try to pan out for you a little bit. We took it up here we came across the back here and then we're going over there to our switches. So I'll show you where that is, where that connection is right there or where that pass through is rather. Let me show you under the hood. Alrighty, there's that uh, can pass through right there. And uh, you can see right there, we've left the nipple in place. We like to cut the bottom and leave the upper part just as a little bit of a watershed. You can also put a, a zip tie around there. Try to leave as much of the nipple on there as you can. Just that way you can zip tie it around the wires or it'll help to shed the water. Always bring your wire, always bring your wire out and down we're following the factory loom which comes out and down and the reason you do that is to prevent water from just wicking down the wire right into the cab of the truck now if water was to come down it's going to hit the lowest point of the wire down here and drip off it's not going to go into the truck and fill the footwell with water so always out of the firewall and down that way you don't have any water intrusion and basically this is very simple. We loosened up the grill. We pulled the grill forward. There's a couple of pieces of plastic to drill some holes through. And we ran the wiring right up here between the headlight. And it comes around here underneath inside of here. It's a fairly easy process to do that. And there's the shop phone ringing. So with that, I'm going to end this video so I can pick up the phone and talk to one of you guys. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I'll speak to you soon. HAW Duo and Sound Off Empower.